Hey, this is Mark. This is my journey through tarot. So this will be pick uh, one of four or two of four or four of four if you want to. But I'm going to put four cards out. Then we'll uh, later uh, define them with a, another deck. This will be the wild uh, unknown tarot and the vice versa tarot. So stay tuned. Okay, so these are the two sets of cards we're going to use today. This is the wild unknown tarot by Kim Kranz, an Australian artist. And this is a vice versa tarot. And uh, I've used them both before, and we'll talk about them more as we start to use them. So this, these will be uh, what we use for the original uh, four cards, of which you will choose one to determine what your uh, the answer to your question is. These come in a cool box with lots of nice surprises all along the way. Cool things to say, lots of nice uh, little extra things to make the box feel special and the uh, containers themselves are really built solidly which i like so i don't know it makes it feel special when you've got a nice box something comes in and then every time you use it you can take the time to open that nice box i like that this shows you uh, how these uh, symbols are depicted in these cards for kim crayons on this wild and known tarot uh, so the pentacles are, are like a little pentacle sword wand and then cup cards are really great. Every line you see in here is a mis meticulously uh, drawn by the artist. So these are not duplicated. It's not a scroll with a bunch of pens on it that she would bring down. All these lines, when you look at these cards, are individually drawn. If you can see the, how intricate that is. This is a good one to, uh, to give you an idea of how uh, the artwork on it. So when you buy a set of cards, you know, you don't have to feel like, um, you can feel like you spent your money well, I feel like. You, you supported an artist and uh, you've got something worthwhile looking at. And you know, I hate for these to get mixed up uh, and upside down because I really don't like to read uh, reverse cards um, just because I don't have confidence in my definition of them. But, uh, so I'm going to make an effort to not reverse these cards. And I really admire those readers who can just throw a card, lands up or down, and they're just very confident with uh, what they're going to say about it. That's not me as far as a reverse card. As a matter of fact, that's not me with uh, the cards when they're upright, especially when I use different decks. Because the, um, you know, it's a similar symbolism, but slightly different. And um, so it makes you kind of test your uh, knowledge and then also kind of makes you let go of those predetermined definitions and perhaps uh, use more of your intuition to get to the point and uh, just like the cards uh, coming out you know you have to believe that they're going to land in the way they should I think you have to believe that what you're getting uh, to 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 make a description and meaning me what I'm getting as a description is uh, appropriate for that situation or not and many times what you're uh, deciding is going to be the interpretation of so we'll see how this works out okay and these cards never spread nicely but you know I'm gonna make an effort to at least make them look a little bit better so there so we're gonna take uh, four cards out of here and these will be the cards that you will ask a question about. So we have one, two, three, and four from my left, number one, number two, number three, number four. You remember you can stop this uh, video and to consider your choice, one, two, three, or four, two, three, or four. Uh, start to reveal those now. Now if you chose number one, you get the nine of wands, and this is a tough uh, journey. This is a uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of obstacles here. And uh, so for me, this would be a no or, you know, yeah, this would be a no card. Now, the number two card, uh, if that's what you chose, is the daughter 
of swords. So the donor of swords would be like a page of swords in a typical Rider Waite deck. So the least uh, of the court cards, because you'd have the daughter of the son, would be like a knight, then the mother and the father, who got the queen and the king. Daughter of swords, in this case, is a wise owl, however. Uh, it may be young, but it's bringing, um, it's bringing the issue forward. And uh, this could be health, this could be uh, some uh, rule, this could be uh, some some important um, solid situation that really needs an answer. This is the Daughter of Swords if you chose number two. This would be um, not really a yes card, but, but, in, but going that way. Number three, then, is going to be the Four of Wands and the Four of, uh, four of Swords. And the Four of Swords tells us that we need to stop and with a lot of consideration before we move forward, we really we need to use our intuition to um, take the time to uh, thoroughly understand uh, what these issues are uh, that we're dealing with. Could be health, could be rules, uh, could be law. Number three. So the number four card, if that's what you chose, is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is really having to leave something behind. So this is an emotional situation, and it's just, it's just fraught with dread, really. And these cups, they look like they're shattered, um, and, and every single one of them is lacking. So really having to leave some shattered emotions behind. So that's one, two, and three, four there. I'm going to clarify those uh, for the dyadic cross with this vice versa deck. And we've used it before, got a nice instruction booklet. And these cards, this is the um, that side of the devil. And then this would be the this side of the devil. So uh, there's the one side with the little scroll here. And the other side, when you turn it over, the scroll is going to be there. The challenge to using these cards is that they don't have um, a front and a back. So there's pictures on both sides. So what are you going to do? You know, you can't not see the card that's being dealt uh, because you can see it. So you just have to try to ignore it uh, and uh, and then just hold back your judgment until the appropriate uh, time for it to be revealed. And then, uh, tr so this really makes you try to be as spontaneous uh, as possible. And so we'll be using these cards over and over again uh, to uh, divine the meanings of those other cards and since we've got four stacks, I'll just bring these into four weird groups here. And uh, the first one we're going to start with is going to be the Nine of uh, Wands. And the Nine of Wands, um, just tell us, this is a, you know, we're going up. It's littered with, with debris. And uh, this is not, it, it's doable. This can get, be accomplished, but it's going to be a hard uh, uh, situation. And uh, so that's what you've got here. You've got a difficult situation and you want to know what is going to be the challenge to that difficult situation. So let's take, let's see if I can do this this way. Let's take four cards out of here, or five rather, two, three, four, five. And at least if I, since I've drawn them that way, perhaps they uh, maintain some anonymity. And then I'm going to deal these like that. So the challenge to these uh, nine of wands in this question is going to be the um, king of cups. King of cups is a lot of emotion. You know, this is this is a passionate uh, situation, and the king of cups is 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 in charge of, of that passion. Okay. So the challenge is going to be to really keep all of this uh, under control uh, until you get to the end of it. The base of this reading, though. Oh my, is going to be the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is just really, you know, so much. I mean, you don't want this to happen to you. It doesn't mean this is inevitable, but this is the base of this reading. This is what you want to avoid. And there's a lot of issues that it looks like almost any one of them can take you down. Some of these issues might just slow you down, but some of them, this one right here is right through the heart. So this, this difficult situation requires careful, careful consideration. The recent past for this uh, issue that you've got is the nine of, well, it's, as a matter of fact, this is a verification here because this is a nine of wands. So I like it when this happens. Uh, this kind of tells me that I'm on the right track. So this nine of wands, just like I said, it's a difficult thing to take care of. This fellow has really been through the, uh, been through it. He's got a, a bandage on his head. And this uh, person here is either with an arm outstretched to, to invite him in or to keep him away. And this is what happened in the past. So I would say that uh, this is something that's been going on. And, um, you know, maybe you're to the point now to where there is some light. 
uh, to, with, with to make a decision. In the sky for this situation is the um, this is the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles is solidly in charge of what's important to her. Okay, she's willing to spend it. The, the Queen of Pentacles is willing to to spend what she needs to maintain her kingdom, but it's a thoughtful um, uh, movement. So. Uh, whatever it is this queen needs to spend, uh, if it's emotion, if it's some power, if it's uh, if it's actual hard money, she has it and she can do it. Okay, so what you need can be available. The likely outcome of this is the Nine of Swords. Wow, and it just is a, a difficult, difficult situation. Um, this is feeling trapped. Uh, so even the likely outcome of this, um, you know, isn't going to be exactly all the way out of the woods yet. This Nine of Swords shows this fella a way to get through the issue. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a way to go through here to get out of this uh, situation. And um, so this would be uh, move carefully and thoughtfully. Don't over um, uh, expect too much, uh, but just expect to get through this. And, and uh, you certainly will. So that's uh, the first card. The second card is the Daughter of Swords. And the Daughter of Swords, like we said, is the, the uh, least strength of the page cards, but she's the one that's bringing this issue to court to be dealt with. And um, so that's what we've got here. The uh, You chose number two. The five cards that we're going to need to clarify that, uh, we'll pick uh, right out of here, just like we did those other ones. We'll try to scoop them off the bottom so that we can keep their uh, anonymity. Uh, so this will be one, two three, four, and five. So that's the five cards that will fill out this dyadic cross for the number two card, the Daughter of Swords. Again, um, this would be a maybe card all by itself, I would say. The challenge to, to getting this information uh, up the ladder, really, is a Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is a, is a heavy load to bear, but it can be done. Okay, one foot in front of the other. That's the challenge. This is not easy. The base of this reading then is the, is, um, the sun. Is it the sun or is that judgment? Let me look at the other side so I can be sure it's judgment. Oh, yeah. So this is judgment. Um, I forget what the, the major arcana is. So 20 is judgment. So um, this is having been judged and, and on the other side of it. Okay. And everybody is, is happy and healthy and... Um, and, and reborn. So this judgment card tells me at the base of this that that I think we can feel like this is going to be fair and we'll get through it. We'll get reborn from it. The recent past for this reading is the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is fully in control of those swords, of that power of the health or the, or the uh, rules or the law. Uh, this King of Swords is looking at the storm ahead and not flinching from it. Okay, so that's what's been in the past. Uh, maybe that you've known this issue is coming. Um, uh, the sky for this reading is justice. So justice in this case is blind, and uh, with truth and and health uh, could be here. These are the scales of justice, and so we know that uh, we want this to, to come out in a, in a decent, fair, healthy way. The, the, the likely outcome of this is the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords it can seem ambiguous because it's kind of telling you pick a, pick a path, a you know, good way, one, one way or the other. And in this uh, card, it's not going to be an easy choice to pick. But the fact is, is that once you start moving down a path, then you're on the way to redemption, to, to finality of whatever the issue is. So I would say this is really in line with the two of so the um, the daughter of swords is um, it's fine make a choice and move forward that's what the answer is here the third card if that was your choice is the four of swords and the four of swords is you know use your third eye take time to you know really consider this issue before you uh, stumble forth like a, a, a baby lamb. Um, so we're going to take one, two, 
three, four, five. Okay. The challenge to this Four of Swords, taking a moment to, to look at the issue, is going to be the Knight of Swords, because the Knight of Swords wants to rush forward, and in this card, he has, uh, uh, let's see what was the other side. Yeah, this is where he's coming into the issue, and so this is where he has dealt with the issue. The challenge is after this decision is made. That's where the challenge is, but you need not be afraid. You need to go forth with the courage of the Knight after this is figured out. The base of this reading, then, is a seven of wands and the seven of wands yeah the seven of wands if on this side you see uh where all these ones are at the edge of the cliff and this fellow is standing up here at the cliff and this guy is standing up here ready to uh, fend them off or already commanding their attention but however we're on, on behind the fellow we're looking at him looking out out over the issue and uh we can see in these cards that those wands are really barely able to get up to him. And so he can confidently feel like he'll be able to master the situation. That's the base of this situation, this reading. The recent past, though, is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is uh, emotions, passions. Uh, this is what's been going on. This queen has turned her back on what's happening here. And uh, so maybe that's a little bit of the, the someone has had to turn their back on the, the passionate issue uh, of what's going on here. Up in the sky, then, is the Nine of Pentacles. And uh, the Nine of Pentacles tells us about, you know, having been successful, really, and it really kind of luxuriating in your success. But this uh, Nine of Pentacles is sort of walking through uh, her her garden of riches. And, but we see off in the distance here a tower. And it doesn't mean that it's anything bad, but it means that there is a goal uh, for this person to, to, to do even more. So that's what's in the sky here. Really a fruitful situation uh, to uh, put yourself in motion toward or through. And the likely outcome of this then is, oh, what is this card? This is, I have to look at the other side. Is this the star? One, two, three. Oh, this is the Empress. No, not the Empress. Well, what is the third card? Oh, boy. I've got to really think about this. I think this is the High Priestess or the Empress. Yes, it is, as a matter of fact. And this is that is that card. So this is having, you, you're able to, you've gone through the situation, you're on the other side, and you've mastered it. And you're, you're comfortable, this is a throne, if you can see, that's her hand. We'll look at the other side again, just so you get a, so that's the throne that this person is on. And uh, it's been a challenge, but they've been through it. So that's the number three. Take your time to consider. Don't be afraid to go forth, and, and you'll get through it. Um, in a great way, in a big way. So that's yes. The last card then is the four, uh, oh, is the fourth card then is the eight of cups, which is really having to leave something behind. It's, it's usually an emotional situation and we need five cards for this. And so we're just gonna get them. That's one, that's gonna be two, this will be three, this will be four, and over here we'll take five. The challenge to this loss then is going to be the magician. And this is, you know, really having everything that you need uh, at your disposal and, and, and using them. So the challenge maybe is understanding that you have this ability. Um, it's not magic. I mean, once we have a loss, we do come out the other side of it. But uh, the magic is in knowing what tools to use to get through it. So consider what you have around you um, to, to carry you through this situation. The base of this reading is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is, does speak, again, of loss. So this is a sorrowful issue for whatever reason. Uh, we can see that there's a rose budding up through the back here. And so there's, there's, a, there's a glimmer of hope, no matter how uh, sad you think it is. But that's the base of it, is this is a tough, a tough, uh, issue to deal with. The recent past for this is the Queen of Pentacles. And this Queen of Pentacles is very satisfied with herself. She's she's on her throne. She's looking uh, toward the future with this beautiful field. She's got everything she needs up here. It's been a bountiful uh, situation that she's been in. So this Queen of Swords uh, is what's been happening in the past. And, it, and um, so she should have the strength with that bounty to carry herself through this and understand what she needs to do to do that. Up in the sky for this reading, though, is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles tells us to work 
on it until you get it right. That's what's up in the sky. That's the best uh, outcome for this is to make sure that you've looked at the detail and you've made it the best you can be, whatever the situation is. The likely outcome is the Knight of Wands. And the likely outcome is that you're going to make a move. You're going to you're gonna get going in, the, in that direction. And um, for me, this is a yes reading. And I think this, even though this is was a difficult situation, there's a lot of, of glimmer here, a lot of hope, a lot of very much positive situations to get you through. And uh, so that's what we've got here. So that is the four card draw for today. Well, that was a cool pick four. So I hope you got something out of that. And uh, if you didn't, come back tomorrow because I'll be here and we'll do it again. My name is Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Ciao for now.